Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. So today I will be changing my cabin air filter on my 2022 Tesla Model 3 and this is my Model 3 performance and I did get the HEPA cabin filter. It's supposed to be good and I do have 21,000 miles on the car. I did own it for about eight months. So uh, basically AC smells really bad when I turn it on. So it is time to change it. By the way, the 22 model year has a little bit of a different setup. So let me go ahead and show you how uh, to replace the cabin filter on this 22 model 3. So the design is a little bit different, but it is very similar to the previous years. Anyways, guys, the only reason I'm making this video is to help others. This could be done at home. It's very easy. You don't have to go to Tesla. I heard Tesla charges anywhere between 50 to 70 bucks to replace this filter. And you could buy this filter from Amazon for 25 bucks. If you guys need the HEPA filter, which I have, it is $50 and it's definitely worth it. So yeah, it's very easy to do and I would recommend doing it at home. Save your money, don't go to Tesla. It takes five minutes to do this. So let me go ahead and show you this filter and then go ahead and uh, remove the old filter and install this. As I said, guys, it should take five minutes. So let's go ahead and do it. So here is the box of this HEPA filter. And as you guys see, it does fit the Model 3 and Model Y and the company name is X Technor. And um, as I said, there is dual filters. The Model 3 and Model Y, they do have dual cabin filters. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the link of both of the filters uh, in the description of this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the link of this filter and the cheaper version, which is a $25, which is 25 bucks. And uh, this one is 50 bucks. And I would definitely go with something like this. Uh, if you drive a nice car like a Tesla, then definitely go with something good. Don't cheap out and go with something cheap. So. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put the, both of the products in the bottom of this video. If you guys are interested in the cheaper version, um, it should be in the description. And this one should be in the description as well. So let me go ahead and unbox this and uh, basically show you uh, this HEPA filter. So as you guys see, it does come with this uh, plastic trim remover and uh, then there is this right here uh, it does have that star design um, I do have actually a bit so I could you could technically use uh, a screwdriver if you have or if you have like um, impact gun you could definitely use that and uh, it's much easier than I think using this but you could definitely use this anyways guys here is the filters so dual filters as I said let me go ahead and actually open this and show you So, and <laughs> the quality of this filter actually feels very nice. Nice and light, but does feel solid. I love the foam around and uh, does have um, some carbon activated um, like rocks inside of it. So very cool, does look very nice, very premium, very high quality. It does have this, um, strap right here to pull the filter to basically bring it out if you need to replace it same thing with the other one the other one is the same and uh, yeah basically that's how the filter looks like very high quality it looks amazing and um, yeah I really like the feel of this filter so the cabin air filter is actually located on the passenger side and it's not located behind the glove box so a lot of cars or a lot of car companies, they put the cabin air filter behind the glove box. So you basically open the glove box, um, you drop it down, and then there is the cabin air filter. But on Teslas, or at least the Model 3 and Model Y, it is located right there. So we have to basically remove this side uh, carpet, and uh, then you'll be able to access the cabin air filters. All right, so to remove this trim, you need this tool right here or you could use a screwdriver so all you have to do basically is to put this tool inside like this and then push out the carpet and then this whole piece right here is basically on clips so there's no screws or anything like that so you just pop it off and that's about it
all right guys as you see I did remove this cover and the only thing you have to worry about here is removing this top screw right there so, so this one right here if you remove it you'll be able to take the cabin air filters out so basically this is the cover and behind this cover is the cabin filters and uh, by the way guys this screw right here was actually up so on this 2022 the screw is in the bottom a lot of people complained about this screw being up and it was very hard to get to so Tesla changed it and they did put it in the bottom so this is very convenient very easy to uh, remove the filters and by the way guys uh, there was this orange um, cable I'm not exactly sure what happened to this cable it could be probably this one but the orange cable was blocking uh, basically the cover of this uh, air cabin filters so yeah right now it's much better much easier and more convenient and you have to remove this screw right there it is a star shape uh, screw so let me go ahead and remove it and uh, get the air cabin filters out So I actually have to remove this piece right here. So uh, there is a speaker that is connected to it and the ambient light. And uh, to be able to remove this piece, there is clips. So just go ahead and remove the clips. I think there's like four or five of them, just like that. And uh, then this piece will drop down. All right, so I did drop this piece right here down as I said guys it does have the lights and it does have a small speaker right there by the way I'm not exactly sure if you actually have to drop this down to be able to pull the filter out but I did anyways so to be able to pull the top filter there is a tab up there that's how you pull the top one out as I said guys there is two filters in this model 3 so this is the first one and the second one is actually in the bottom so you lift it up and then you pull it out a little bit hard to do with one hand but here we go so this is how the filter looks like let's see the other side so this side is the side that has um, basically the dirt in it and honestly, it doesn't look that bad, I think. Again, guys, my car has only 21,000. Um, the filter overall, I think it looks all right, but the smell is very bad. So when you turn on the AC uh, for about a minute or two, it stinks. So that's why I'm, I'm replacing this. But overall, I don't think it looks honestly that bad. So this is the new filter and this is the old filter and as you guys see has like more basically holes in it and uh, the HEPA is much better than the normal filter so it does basically filter a uh, few things so definitely better to go with something like this rather than going with something like this but let's go ahead and install this new filter and uh, turn on the AC and test it Uh, they did say that you have to run the AC for about 10-15 minutes and uh, let's go ahead and do that so I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that from my phone um, so I'm gonna lock my car and uh, use my phone to turn on the AC I'll do that for about 15-20 minutes and then uh, I'll turn it off and then I'll test it 
usually when I used to turn on the AC, uh, I would smell something the first like one or two minutes of me driving, but now um, I'm not really smelling anything. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the AC for, uh, as I said, 15, 20 minutes, and uh, then I'll come back and uh, test the uh, filters. So I did receive two HEPA filters from this company. They were generous enough to send me one. I did tell them that I wanted to do a giveaway for my subscribers. So there's an extra one for you guys. So if you are interested in winning basically this um, giveaway, all you have to do is comment, subscribe, and like this video. And uh, I'll choose a winner and then I'll send it uh, to you. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's it for this video of me installing the cabin air intake on my 2022 Tesla Model 3. As you guys saw, it was very easy to do and um, it's definitely something you could do at home. Save your money and do it at home. It should take five minutes to do. But anyways, guys, if you guys want to win this cabin, uh, this extra cabin air filter that I have, uh, make sure you like and comment below and I'll go ahead and send this uh, cabin air filter to the winner. But again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did, Please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.